Hi everyone, this is the Super Tech Channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a server cloud using an old computer and free software. So you can host your media and all other stuff and access it from remote places. Here we go. First things first, you're going to need a uh, dedicated computer that you're going to be using for um, the main hardware of the server. Um, I'm using this iBook because it has multiple USB ports and an Ethernet jack built right in, as well as a display in it and a um, keyboard, as well as a battery, which is cool. And um, I know I'm just describing a laptop. And a uh, the disk drive is pretty good, so it's going to be able to uh, burn that new image on there, no problem. The operating system um, we're going to be using is. Ubuntu 10.04 and um, you can get it at the uh, URL above or you can just Google it and uh, this is the only so far as I know of um, operating system that works the best with the PowerPC processor built into the uh, Apple G4 or Apple iBook G4 which is um, why I'm using it and if you're on a newer better computer that you want to use for your server just use um just go to the main Ubuntu ten point ten page and uh download it there. Next thing, uh, we're gonna need a program to burn the disk image file, which we downloaded from the previous page, to a disk. And um for that I am using infra recorder which is a f again a free program which lets you uh, make disk um, images and just click the link there and save it and set it up from there next uh, well here's the program in for recorder write the image go to wherever you your ISO is and um, select it there. I'm not gonna burn it because I don't have it disk in right now. Um, this also works with any other imaging so if you have like something like Fedora you want to use to burn to a disk this will work as well. And um, that's that I guess. I don't, I'm not actually gonna do it but make sure all those things are uh, checked so it'll work fine. And uh, yeah here is um, the completed disk. I've actually had this particular one for a while because I set up my server a little, little under a month ago. Put it in the disk drive. And uh, yeah, good to go. Um, the, only, the one thing about using an older computer for a server is it's pretty slow. Like, not, not, it's not like painfully like it wouldn't even be worth doing it but it's it's slow it's noticeably slow n like than other servers and uh but it definitely works i've been using it no problem for like i said a little under a month and um yeah, you can see it's booting and uh yeah oh yeah another uh good point of the mac using a uh laptop as a server is that um it's also you can also like it's portable like you can move it if you don't like if you're um shifting something i don't know like something around you can just unplug it and uh, move it and it'll be fine that's that so now assuming that your um install went well you're going to need to go to terminal and type in the uh, following code that's going to show on the screen and um, this will get your FTP software and um, that'll this will enable the note the uh, laptop for use for FTPing because you can't just flat do it and uh, I'm this can <laughs> the computer I was demoing this on wasn't connecting to the internet so I'm not actually going to uh, install it I'm just prepping it for it but once you type in that code just go through the GUI and um, install the program next we have to set up the uh, we have to set up a static port for the uh, the uh, FTP 
and uh, just go to the ether. I would also suggest using Ethernet because it's much faster and much more secure than wireless. But um, so anyways, just go there. I'm using 250 just for demo purposes. I just didn't really have anything on there. So uh, yeah, just do it there. Go to it, click at it, and then we have to go to your route. You go to your router, and uh, at set it to FTP there. Then we uh, have to access. Now that the uh, server is set up to FTP, we need a client. So I'm going to be using FileZilla. FileZilla is actually one of my favorite programs. Just click the download link there and you'll get it. It's really easy to set up and um, it's really quick. Um, the uh, it's, al it's also uh, free and um, you can go browse through everything. And um, there are all your files on your other computer. And you... Uh, transfer files by just clicking and dragging into a nice little interface like that and um, yeah you're pretty much done but uh, if you want to access your server from a different IP address you're gonna wanna go to what is my IP address dot com and um, on the right side of the screen it'll show it I'm not gonna show it because uh, it's my global IP I don't want anyone knowing that and um, so, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, this has been the Super Tech Channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. Uh, yeah. Bye.